How's it going, everyone? This is Wenbo again. Uh, today, I'm going to show you another pretty quick modeling tip regarding when you're modeling cosmetic products right here. So as you can see, here's the scene that I built for one of the renders on the thumbnail. Uh, so basically, you can see it looks pretty nice and realistic. And one of the things I want to show you is basically this part. And it is supposed to be something because when you manufacture it, this, uh, actually this tube products, usually you have some seals and uh, you're gonna crash uh, on both sides to seal this product. Uh, but this usually you will find uh, quite a bit of uh, tutorials online on YouTube that only showing uh, with that, uh, how to make this product without that end part. But actually having that just put it on is gonna look much better and um, yeah, so that's why I'm trying to uh, creating these details and to show you this tiny bit of things can add uh, quite a bit of realism into your uh, product render. So let me get started. Let me close down this whole thing and uh, start with some uh, fresh new one. So the subject turned off. So basically, here are two things I'm going to put into the solid mode. As you can see here, this is one of these examples. It's a little bit different compared to what we had right here. You see, this actually have a certain angles and the directions kind of tilted a little bit because I was using the part of the geometries from this body. So I'm basically what I did. I'm actually just gonna duplicate it, select this part, and uh, to hit. Uh, shift D and duplicate it and hit the P and as a selections and now you can see we have an extra body in here to work with um, so I'm, I'm then I'm using this uh, my same method to actually build this piece so what I'm trying to do today to show you today uh, is a different type of details uh, let me close down this thing real quick mm. Let's get this body part. So we're just gonna delete that. Anyway, so Alt, Alt H, unhide stuff. So here is the, what we am trying to do. We, we're trying to build something like this. Uh, either way, um, you know, there are no single way, one single way to do all these details in full products because they're different manufacturers. They have different type of look and uh, you, you just need to do it accordingly. But having this quick tricks, you can really help uh, adding realism. Okay, I don't want to say that too much. Let's get started. So this is just a regular tube that cube you can add it on. The Shift A to add a cube, and kind of scale it down here real quick, and grab it. Z and scale. Hit X, and you can just get it long enough. And then you're gonna go to the top view and hit the scale uh, S Y. Can I get it narrowed down right here? Yeah, you can. You can do. You can spend time to really getting that proportion correct. But I'm just show you how to do this. And then we need to do scale down to the z axis right here. So uh, I'm I'm going to hide all these. Uh, okay. And then I'm gonna grab this. Come here down here z. As you can see. Yeah, it has, it's kind of like short. What I can do, scale Z, just getting a little bit longer. I think it should be fine. Grab it and uh, grab down here. We can even actually get make a longer grab. See right here. After we're positioning this thing, and then we can start doing manipulation. So we're gonna go to the hit the tab, go to the edit mode. We are going to adding some loop cuts. Hit the Control R. And just kind of, you can scroll as much as you can, or you can just do one and then adjust number of cuts right here. So we can do, uh, you can add as much as you want, but the, the more geometry you add it on, the actually it's gonna slow down your computer. I don't know how powerful your computer is going to be, but I and for 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 demonstration purpose, I'm just going to do 20. I think should be, well, let's do 30. Yeah, this should be fine, and then. You can just kind of uh, tap it out. Then next thing, we are going to hit A to select all, and then to go to the select. And 
Oh, actually, was another thing we want to do. We want to go to the the face selection mode. Here, hit that three, and then go to the select. You go with check or deselect. That's a very quick and greedy, uh, really nice uh, <clears throat> tools that you can kind of just uncheck the stuff and then. Uh, this is exactly what we want, the pattern. But we don't need to add, do anything on the top of the face. So we still have the face selection mode turned on. We are going to uh, actually go to the exit mode, Alt Z, and then to to hit to oh, sorry, and then to actually press B and then hit the middle mouth button to actually deselect the faces that we don't want. You see, that's the faces that we don't want to touch. We just want to having extrude all these faces uh, on the selection a selected face. Okay. So next thing we are going to do here is we are going to extrude faces out. Uh, but as you can see, if I hit E, it doesn't do anything, right? You know, E is extrusion, but it doesn't work on in here. So I'm going to cancel that. Hit Control Z to cancel that. So I'm going to use the, the tool that is called uh, Extrude Along Normal. This is a very useful tool. So you can go to right click and uh, extrude face along normal. And pay attention, making sure this, <clears throat> this, this, menu, uh, this menu only works under the face selection mode. So when you right click so we're going to go here extrude face along normal and then we can just kind of scroll things up right you see it's extruding along normal because i know i'm going to adding um more um i actually going to add some subsurface modifier so i'm actually just going to extrude a little tiny bit and then do it again just be uh, to to utilizing this part of extrusion as a support loop so you will you will see why, and then I'm gonna do that one more time, and then it should be good, right? And you can even actually adding one more uh, extrusion along normal just to getting the shape out. So this is kind of a little bit too much, I think, but uh, I just want to show you how the things work. We can change that and manipulating it later on. So uh, right now I can see because it's too sharp and there was no bevel, no subsurface modifier, it looks pretty fake. And uh, what we can do here is to adding a subsurface modifier, hit control two. And then if you go to this modifier tab, you see you already have something added on. So now here, right now is all, everything is kind of being subsurf right here is I don't want it all everything curved curved with curvature so we are going to adding some loop cuts to support the edges okay and then we're gonna hit one and control R so adding a loop cut and then quickly don't need to do anything to hit control B to bevel it so in when you in here you are actually going to have some difficulty if you adding too much geometries just for this is small details yeah but so far my computer is fine didn't crash uh, okay so now you can see we have something going on you can do shade smooth and it looks quite a nice but it's still, it still it looks pretty square so we can actually kind of get in the narrow down a little bit so hit s at y and it's gonna get a little bit thinner right yeah, as long as you don't want to show the ins inside of geometries, that should be fine. So we can actually, this one is the two things, so we can just add it. Yeah, just just generally cover it up, right? So that should be fine. And and then on the edge, of course, you don't want to have that unless this is some product that you will want to see at the end. It's, it's supposed to look like this, but we can always kind of do some manipulation. And we're going to, to go to the X-ray mode Actual remote, uh, Alt Z, do that and select these vertices, and we can just kind of grab it and just change, change it, change the shape of it. Double. Well, I can just grab it. X. Yeah, just this. These are again. These are very small details, um, but it's just adding something to making looks perfect. As you can see here, we're adding only on one side. We didn't do the other one. 
Uh, if you want to do make it perfectly looking right, you can do so. Another thing we can use just adding a loop cut right here in the center. And then we are we can using a mirror modifier. Select this part, hit X to delete vertices, and then adding a mirror a mirror modifier up here. And we are definitely want to move this one up above the subsurface modifier. Now you can see the result. Looks pretty decent. Yeah. Yeah. This is kind of nice. And you can you can you can do a bunch of things. Uh, whenever you want to tweak it. So if we got on the side view, so we can even just select all the bottom vertices, we can kind of scale it down a little bit like this. Yeah. How about this? It's kind of nice, right? Um, maybe it was too much, but uh, you got it on my you got the idea. You can do uh, quite a bit of things. I just wanted to let you know that these small details really make a big difference when you doing product render and uh, adding realism is more a lot of times about details is about your how you uh, observe this world and in, um, in the microscopic uh, way and uh, yeah I think yeah once you figure out uh, the, the tricks then your limits is, 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 is the only limitations your imagination in the CG world uh, okay so i think that's it that's the end of this uh tutorials and uh, um you if uh, my my channel is all about photorealism uh, if you're really into this type of uh, uh cg works feel free to consider subscribe my channel and if you really like this video please hit likes and the comments and i will see you in the next video bye